How's it going there guys and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix tutorial. So today we're going to be going through how to add a Instagram uh, feed onto your website. Uh, hopefully this uh, is a very very quick and simple tutorial and something that you could follow. Uh, so yeah we'll go ahead and get started. So here we are, we've got our blank section, and this is what we're starting off with. Uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to go and click on the Add Elements. Now, if we go and scroll down all the way here, of course, we have our social, but this is not what we're going to be after. What we need to search up for is Instagram. And as you can see, it is an app for the site, so we would need to go to the app uh, market. So the way to do that is on your left side here, if you select Add Apps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to search the app Instagram. And select on Instagram feed. Now this is by Wix which is great, so it, it is a free app to download. So all we need to do is select Add to Site. And this will automatically add it to our website. So as you can see, uh, it's loading itself up now. Okay, so. And what's great now is when you select the settings. This is when we could start modifying it a little bit. So this is where we could add some display, of course, where we could uh, add our username or add our profile picture. Now you can choose to remove this if you want to, so you can just have a cleaner look. And it will be great for a business as well. Uh, more the fact that if your business is attached to your website and you want to update your customers or you want to update your viewers, uh, some of the content that you're producing, then Instagram would be a great way to do so as this uh, Instagram feed automatically changes when you change things about within the the actual Instagram feed. So that's a great thing about the Instagram feed. Uh, so if we look into depth a little bit as well, uh, as you can see, we've got some settings and we can show it within different languages. Uh, and when you're clicking on a post as well, you can expand it to a full screen, open on Instagram or nothing happens. So if I say were to expand it to full screen so i'll just go ahead and preview this and i'm hoping it works so if i click on this this should just uh expand for me uh like you can see here and of course the other option there was to open up the instagram so that's your two options or you could have do nothing so that's uh your third option sorry so then, of course, you've got some text, so you can have a follow button or a load more button. Then you can have your links. Uh, of course, you can add some custom links to your Instagram. You can change the layout, so for your profile, post, hashtag feed. You could even do the designs as well. So depending on what color you want it to be, you can have it as color black if I wanted to. And then I could change the icons and I can have it so that there's no overlay effect or have a fade in overlay effect. I could even border up my my posts. So, so say I, I would have it at 5px. So you could see it change there as well. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, so as you can see, there, that's it at 15px. And of course, I could have some uh, radius around the corners there. I can have it zoom in if I wanted to as well. So uh, if you hover over it, it zooms right in. So there are a couple of different options there, as you could see. So we'll go ahead and preview it again and see how it looks. So now it's, if I click onto it, as you can see, the background there zooms in and it's got more of a modern look uh, for the fact that we've added a border radius to it. Now, the last one, of course, there is how would I add or how would I link my Instagram towards it? So this is technically the normal one. So if I go ahead and select manage links, this is where I can direct your um, Instagram feed. So go into settings and then on the very, very top there within main. So we'll wait for this to load. 
I can connect either a business account or a co uh, personal account. So if, of course, I connect a personal account. And then uh, this is one of our uh, ones here. You, you may not be able to see this. So this is our one of our brands here, which is Learning Mole, as you can see. And of course, over the recent period here, it has been updated within the Instagram feed. Uh, so that meaning that is um, the website will also update itself since this is the live Instagram feed. Now I can choose to stretch that as well if I'm not satisfied with how that looks and I can have a full screen of it. Or I can decide to unstretch it and do that. Or I can have a width of around 80px so that borders uh, me up uh, 20 for each side. And of course I can manage my links as well since I now have a um, Instagram post or Instagram uh, account connected to this. I can add links to this so I can add like a home page for it or a web address and I can paste it here and paste in the YouTube URL towards the YouTube channel. So there are a lot of things that you can do with the Instagram feed. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial video. Nice, quick and easy, and hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.